Hiya, this is Tommy. Thanks for coming on to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about a few things. Uh, the truck in Texas, how it's getting on. The yellow trucks rebuild. If you're my wife, look away now because we're talking about more new trucks. Also, we're looking into a little driver development program to take people from into becoming a driver and becoming a lease operator and then their own authority. So plenty to look at so hope you enjoy what's coming thank you Afternoon, it's Tommy here, I'm sitting in Idaho Falls, in the rain, it's cold, damp, rotten day, it's like a February day in Scotland really, and it's May, well, it's, in fact it's Memorial Weekend this weekend, shockingly cold weather, and shockingly wet, got my hoodie on, worked till 1am this morning in the truck, um, the head had the uh, best thing I could say is like calcified sand stuck to the the inlet ports on the truck um, where it's been coming in from the turbo. It's gotten hot and almost turned into uh, just like a kind of weird cement stuff that's been stuck on it. So obviously we wanted to get that off so we soaked it with solvent last night and, uh, and then steam cleaned it out with hot steam and... Uh, it can come off, you know, it's clean now. You know it's clean because it starts to rust instantly. So we get that all cleaned off, dried off, and polished up. Um, and it's looking good to go back on. Uh, the new truck in Texas. Next week, this week, it had an uh, electrical fault that was caused by a couple of bad marker lights, LED marker lights in the roof. And that was causing a 10 amp fuse to blow, which most people apparently upgrade to a 20 amp fuse. Now I know that. It's good to know. Um, but the warranty covered that. Um, shockingly, and I still can't believe it, the marker lights are probably made in some sweatshop somewhere in the world uh, for about 20 cents. They charged the comp the the warranty company, $210 per light to go into that truck, plus $125 an hour to find the fault and change the lights. And I just find that shockingly bad. Um, it just, how does that make sense in any, any world that too little? Marker lights would be 420 bucks plus sales tax, you know. Poor. Um, but they got to work last night again, knocked out a couple of loads, done a thousand bucks or so. Obviously, you know, that's no off to me. They get their whack, and the company that we're running for, they get their whack, and the fuel's a big whack, and the payment's a big whack. So I don't want anybody to be under any impressions that. I'm coining it in, but it's washing its face and it's making a bit of money. Um, so, but they got going, two fast loads, turned them out in the space of seven hours maybe. And then the third load, they got to the well and had to sit and wait for nine hours to unload because the blending machine was broken. So they had to get that, wait till that was repaired, they had no empties to give to the trucks. So they kept them all in line there. And, uh, once they got unloaded, they put them in standby. So I called up and said, hey, put somebody else in standby that's been running all night. We've been sitting there, so hopefully they get a load here pretty soon. Uh, hopefully they're even on one right now. Um, so this is the ups and downs of trucking. Some days you're happy and everything's going great and you get unloaded and truck runs nice and it's a sunny day and the tunes in the radio are brilliant. Other days you're sitting in a car park in Walmart talking to yourself in a car because you're nothing else to do but wait till the clever guy gets done with another job to come work in your truck. 
So, but it will be back on the road. Um, I've got another man that wants to come work for us, who's, um, uh, I think he'll work it all right. I want to speak to him face to face, don't want to hire anybody without sitting down across the table with them and see the colour of their eyes and see what they're all about. Um, but this yellow truck, when it's fixed, I'm going to bounce it down to Texas, give it a nice gentle run down there, bobtailing, so that should break it in pretty good. Um, I'll leave that with Paul and Wes can have the other one and um, when I come back I want to buy another truck and uh, hope this other guy comes on before I leave or right when I leave that he can run between the two other guys and get a little bit of practice you know it's always good for that you know somebody riding with you make a little bit of money and he's a friend of Wes's so um, the fact that somebody's going to put their name on the line a little bit and recommend them, you know, that gets them somewhat up the chart of getting a job. Um, so we're going to have a little poll maybe or something like that. I've got a few options for different trucks. Really like the one we've bought. It's lovely. It's just nice. It's quiet. So fuel efficient, you know. It's getting almost six miles to the gallon the last time I checked, so... Those fuel savings are worth about seven, eight hundred pound a week to me, um, which I hate to say pays for the truck, but it doesn't pay for the truck. But it it makes the payment for the truck more bearable when it's a bit, uh, really fuel efficient. Um, so you know, some days in the trucking game are great. You know, going well. Other days, this is it. You know. Um, <laughs> uh, this, you know, looking forward to getting home. Um, it's got to happen soon. Uh, things to do, wife to see. Um, this wasn't part of the plan to be on the road for so long without going back to Scotland. And uh, it's uh, we decided between the two of us that rather than take a break and lose momentum that would keep my foot on the gas pedal and uh, try and build a bit of a momentum here and uh, as soon as I got to my birthday I was supposed to be home for that but as soon as I got to that the the gas pedal broke and we were off the road so but I've been able to watch lots of YouTube videos for other people that are out there doing you know similar things and it's, I really enjoy doing that because you get to get different perspectives and learn things and and hopefully from my from my point of view my situation is unique to me so I get to look at somebody and think oh I like that little bit of theirs and take a bit of that and a bit from somewhere else and hopefully come up with something that really works for me um, we'd like to kind of roll out a program where I can help people even get their CDL uh, if they've got that, maybe help them get into a truck and lease on to us. Um, if, they've, if they're leased on and they want to get their own authority, we can try and help them do that. You know, because, you know, it's that's how the world should work, I think, is, you know, if I'm helping somebody get, get on and get their license or get their truck or get into their own authority or get up and going, I think I'll be blessed for that. And if I can make a couple of bucks out of it along the way, if they're leased on to me, um, good, you know. Um, but nobody wants to be, you know, some folk want to be, but I think a lot of people want to have a bit of ambition and they want to make the next step and the next step. And um, I think I can help people do that. So I'll try to put a little program together right now uh, with my downtime to, to, to do that. Um, and uh, try and help people, you know, get on in their lives, and uh, hopefully that can be something that we do. But I think it's lunchtime for me. I'm sitting looking at Wendy's hamburgers and Famous Dave's barbecue. I'm trying to think, I should have a salad, but you know, a double cheeseburger meal just sounds just really good. Maybe get a nap this afternoon and get a shave and a shower and go. Uh, Go back to work tonight, so 
But I hope this finds you well. Um, as I said, we'll have a little bit of a poll, uh, different thoughts and different trucks, and see how you know what the subscribers or people that watch the videos think what we should maybe go for or do. You know, it's it's always good to get other input. You know, because. Uh, can't get it right all the time, so if other people are giving you ideas, that'd be good. But um, um, my wife's not allowed to comment on these because she'll just say you're not getting another truck. That'll be that'll be her input into the matter. Yeah. Um, she might not put that across the screen, but she will for definitely put that input into my ear. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video finds you well. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't. Say you don't. If you like it, like it. That would be great. Appreciate the feedback. Appreciate the subscriptions, subscribers. And uh, my son told me this morning we have gone over 4,000 minutes of view time on this channel. Flabbergasted at that. Can't believe that an old ex overweight, balding coach driver that's over here in America trying to get a trucking company up and running can get. 4,200 views in a month, uh, sorry, no views, uh, it's almost 2,000 views, but over 4,000 minutes of viewing time, who knew? Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, hope you have a great day, thank you, bye-bye.